you've been releasing little bits of your lyrics online, and um, I don't get, maybe we can go through these. Maybe you could um, illuminate some of these. One night he wakes, strange look on his face, pauses, then says, you're my best friend, and you knew what it was. He is in love. Can I tell you what I think this is? Yes. Are you saying he's in love with someone else? No, it's oh. actually, it's a commentary. It's a song that I wrote that was like loosely based on, I wrote it with my friend Jack Antonoff, who's dating my friend Lena. Yes, you know. Lena Dunham, yes. And mm -hmm. Jack sent me this track to the song. It was just an instrumental track he was working on, and immediately I knew what the song needed to be. And I wrote it as kind of a commentary on what their relationship has been like. And so it's actually me looking in and going, like, this happened, then that happened, then that happened. And that's how you knew you got, you're in love. I see. Because okay, so, so when I hear the word friend, I think that's it. There's no love. No love's happening. <laughs> I think of you as a friend, and then that's oh, that. No, it's, isn't that supposed to be you're supposed to be friends, and you're supposed to be in love? And that's what I keep telling women, deal. but it doesn't really go along. Yeah. You always knew how to push my buttons. You give me everything and nothing. Uh, what are you going to do with this one? I, I don't know. This one, I don't know. I like that you put it in an elevator, and I like that you tore a little heart shape out of the picture, too. Thank you. That's Thank your, you. you really wrote that yourself? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fun to make these um, and to see the final product, but if you were to see me actually creating them and being like... You don't have a team doing this for you? Yeah. I'm, like, like you know, bent over, like, on the bed, like, just trying to figure out, like, what can I do with this piece of cardboard? Where's a Sharpie? And, yeah. But it's, it's fun to, like, put things up on Instagram and people... I saw, I read an article that was, like, these, uh, these, this art-directed campaign on Instagram with oh, really? I'm like... That's kind of a yeah, compliment, isn't it? with a Sharpie yeah. and some scissors. <laughs> Here's one more. Um, you see, if I don't do my laundry tonight, I'll probably do it over the weekend. That is not... That's oh, not one of mine. You know what? I think I may... That may be for my next album. Yeah. That, mm. that one will be a little less critically acclaimed, I think. One funny thing that happened, and tell me, I, I heard this happen, and it sounded like a joke to me, but in Canada, uh, I think two days ago, they put your song up on iTunes. It instantly went to number one. It was the third track of the song. But then what was the track that everybody heard? It was a mistake, <laughs> and it wasn't a song that they ended up posting. They ended up posting seven seconds of static noise. <laughs> And it and went to so number it one. Went number one, and I was like, "What is going on?" Like, well, it just goes to show you, you really don't need to work that hard on this stuff, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes, I've been really overthinking this entire really thing. Have. I've been really trying too hard. Clearly, like the Beatles' White Album. This is your take on that. It's just white, white noise, noise that you put out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching our video. Click right here to subscribe to our channel, and click right.